In this video, I'm going to show you how to interpret blood agar bacterial growth medium. This is a sterile plate of blood agar. Here's the bottom of a blood agar plate, and although there was growth on the top portion, when I flip that plate over and look at the underside, I can see that the medium has not changed at all. It looks as if it were a brand new plate of blood agar. This means the bacteria growing there do not produce hemolytic enzymes, so this is gamma hemolysis indicating normal flora. Now here's a different blood agar plate that has bacterial growth. And when I look at the bottom of this plate, the medium looks bruised. It has a brownish appearance to it. Here's another blood agar plate with the same type of hemolytic reaction. The samples plated on this blood agar were throat samples from two different lab partners, and both show alpha hemolysis, that brown bruising color. This indicates normal flora. When I look at the left side of this plate, I can see that the bacterial growth resulting from this throat sample has removed the color from three areas. These transparent spots on the plate indicate beta hemolysis. Beta hemolysis from a throat sample plated on blood agar indicates the presence of pathogen Streptococcus pyogenes. So to review, gamma hemolysis, which is no color change in the medium when there is growth, and alpha hemolysis, which looks like bruising, both indicate the presence of normal flora. These are normal results. Beta hemolysis occurs when the bacteria growing on blood agar have completely broken down the red blood cells. This makes a clear or transparent area in the medium where the bacteria are growing. Streptococcus pyogenes is a beta hemolytic pathogen and cause of several different infectious diseases, including scarlet fever, postpartum fever, strep throat, necrotizing fasciitis, just to name a few. It's a bad guy. More seriously nerdy, amazing free stuff at scienceprofonline.com. Go there.